guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ashley and I am a homeschooling mom of four and I'm so happy you stopped by to check out today's video today I am going to be sharing with you the system that I use that I feel like has helped me become more productive as a mom but specifically a homeschooling mom because homeschooling our kids does take most of our time and can really, really make it a struggle to get other things in life that need to be done or tended to. Um, not because those things are more important, but just because we're moms and we have lots on our plates to do. Um, I get asked quite often by you guys, um, and it's in a very complimentary um, tone, and so I appreciate it, but it's like, how do you do it all? Well, I don't do it all but I feel like the way that I'm able to do the things that I do and do them decently well is because of this system. So today I'm gonna share that with you guys. I am in no way telling you that you need to do this or that these three things should be your biggest uh, priorities or anything like that. I'm simply sharing with you guys um, the system that I've used and it's benefited me greatly um, in hopes that it will help you guys. The new year always brings about a lot of thinking about areas of life that need improvement or um, you know things you want to focus on so I figured it was a great time to share this with you guys. Um, I have shared it in like DMs when people have messaged me but I figured it was time I make a video on it. So we're going to get right into today's video and I'm going to share with you the system that I use that helps me be the most productive in my life. Okay, so you guys probably have all heard that um, there have been so many studies and I didn't have time to like quote them specifically, but I just know that they are out there um, about people like human beings have a certain threshold for areas of focus in life. Some people can do more and some people can do less. And some of that is derived from like self-discipline and um, learning different like practices and routines. And other times it really is just a personal personality thing. It's like, who you were made to be. Now, I'm not saying you can't change bad habits or improve in areas because of your personality, but there are people that can function with, let's say, five plates in the air, and then there's people that just cannot do that. And that doesn't make one person better than another person. It just means we're all different. Just like there's amazing, you know, emergency room doctors that function well under that adrenaline and pressure, and then there's people like me that would totally freeze up and panic. And that is just not my not my DNA. So when I share this, I always want to be really cautious because I don't want anybody to get their feelings hurt or feel offended. Um, but there have been studies that have talked about people having a certain threshold for how many things they can focus on and do well in life. And it has been determined over and over again that when you focus between three and five things in your daily life, you're gonna succeed better. So if you're waking up as a mom and you're thinking, well, today I really wanna focus on making all homemade meals, I want to clean my entire house, I want to homeschool my children and do it with a smile on my face, I want to, um, spend quiet time in prayer with God. I want to get at least an hour of exercise in like you guys see, like it's just not possible. So something that I've done, uh, for quite a while in my life is have things that are called non-negotiables. So my non-negotiables are things that I must do every single day now, you know, I'm flexible with the amount of time or when it happens and things like that so that, you know, life takes place. But these are my non-negotiables and I really, really stick to this and it has helped me be more disciplined in making sure these three things get done. But it's also helped me to see that there will be time to do the other things that I'm so frantically worried about getting done even still sticking to these three non-negotiable things. Now your non-negotiables might be different, but mine every single day are spending time with God, working out, and homeschooling the kids on school days. Now, the, the reason why I say those three things is because it's very tempting as a mom to be, you know, like, 
especially when you homeschool your kids. Oh, I'm just going to run this errand real quick. Well, then that errand ends up taking longer than you planned. And then you, the kids get hungry and you stop for lunch. And then by the time you come home, it's almost time, you know, and it just really is a downward spiral. And I used to find myself in that position all the time. But now having these three non-negotiable areas of my life that get my focus, I do them kind of in the same order every day. And then whatever time is left over is whatever time is left over. Over that day I don't overwhelm myself with anything more than that so you know basic maintenance of the home doing dishes throwing the load of laundry in I don't count that because it doesn't take that much focus for me maybe you would need to place that on your non-negotiable list but those three things in my life are the areas of focus that I need to give daily attention to, and then everything else comes after that. And that has helped me be way more disciplined, it's helped me be less overwhelmed, and it's helped me be more successful in doing those three things really well, um, and, and not f being frantic about what is next. So some people might be able to do five, I found myself only wanting to give myself three. If I do those three things every single day, then I consider that day a success. And I know now from using that system for such a long time that um, everything else does fall into place. You know, you can run the dishwasher late at night. You can find a day of cleaning where you can clean all day long and you don't necessarily need to be worried about doing it that day. And different things, you know, with my schedule that have worked for me, but I get asked a lot, you know, how do you do it all? And I don't do it all every day. Those are the three things I do every single day, except on the weekends, of course. Um, and I've I found ways to make that work for me. So when I need to go grocery shopping and I, you know, we're in a in a homeschooling week, you know, I don't go during the day. I'll do my online order at night and I'll pick it up the next night. So because I know like, okay, my my things will be done. So that's how I have found myself being more disciplined and more productive is using the non-negotiable rules, meaning Nope, 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 we're not negotiating that. We're, those things always get done. Let me know down below if you use a system like this or if you feel like a system like this would help you. And if you're already thinking, oh, that's a good idea, I need to try that, what would your three non-negotiables be each and every day? Um, it's really helped me a lot and I hope that it helps you guys. So that's it for this video. It's short and sweet, but if you're looking to be more disciplined and more productive, give this a shot. Take some of the pressure off and just focus on the on small areas, whatever those are for you. Um, in your daily life and I feel like you'll be way more successful than trying to think about 20 things that you need to do each and every day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye guys.